Looks like it's Ryan. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, I love you so much. Yeah, thanks for cuddling with me. Good morning, John. Good morning, Ryan. How are Look you at that cleanly shaved face. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. How'd you sleep? Not that well, actually. It took yeah. me a while to get to sleep. It was a little warm in here. Used to the cold, hard desert floors. <laughs> this kind of luxury, it's just yeah. not, yeah. It's not for us. We're too wild. I know. But I think you slept all right, she didn't slept. you? So what are you doing here, John? Well, these, these gates, they, they, uh, they're super durable and everything, but they have a little squeak. So we're experimenting with using soap as a lubricant. To, yeah, to they get the squeaky. Yeah, I mean, we're in very dusty conditions, it's hard. In the wet, they, they're fine, but, but um, yeah, we're just experimenting with a little uh, lubricant. If, it, if this works, we've uh, solved an age-old problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Time to leave the cozy hotel. Thank you. Turn off the lights. It's a crisp morning. Thank you, Cameron Trading Post Hotel. Here we go. Another beautiful day on planet Earth. No flatties. No crashies. No whammies. <sighs> yeah, my legs are starting to feel it. This is day six. We've been riding pretty hard. All batteries are charged. Camera batteries, human batteries, and dog batteries. Let's see it. Oh, I love that jump. Makes me happy every time. We have this road all to ourselves. It's Sunday early. Everybody's still sleeping or they're at church. This is John and Ryan's road and Mira. We have a little mirror break, mirror love break. Yes, we should. You having a good day? This road is a lot quieter than yesterday's road. Yeah, yeah, look at that smile. Got a little chunk here. <laughs> it's definitely some of the more technical riding we've done in the last week. Whew. Getting close to a canyon edge. Wow, we're right on the edge. 
<laughs> this is pretty incredible. This is not the Grand Canyon, this is another canyon, but it looks pretty grand to me. I'm impressed. Check it out, geology of the Little Colorado River Gorge. The rock layers of the spectacular 1500 foot chasm of the Little Colorado River formed in a near shore environment where a shallow sea periodically covered the area 275 to 270 million years ago. Let's go take a closer look. <clears throat> What do you think, Mira? This is, this is quite beautiful, huh? Unlike the Grand Canyon overlooks where there's gonna be like thousands of people, we have this place all to ourselves, John. I know. This pretty, is pretty special. Pretty fortunate. Look at that. We'll see if this camera can pick it up, but there's some amazing echoes here. And check it out, we have our own picnic table to eat burritos and enjoy this. Mm-hmm. Not a bad Sunday. You know, the desert, of all the landscapes on the planet, the desert just inspires awe in me. I started reading Edward Abbey books at a young age, Desert Solitaire. A lot of that was based around the Moab Arches area. And I just, I love the colors. I love how stark it is. I love the canyons. It just makes me happy. I love the desert. You know, I, I don't, you know, oceans and mountains and all the other stuff is great too, but the deserts, that's definitely what I like the most. Just out here riding with my dogs. <laughs> We've been slowly grinding away uphill, not super steep, but it's been constant uphill. We've gone up 3000 feet. We are currently at 6,900 feet elevation, which is pretty darn high. And we're getting very close to the Grand Canyon. You wouldn't think so by the surroundings. You'd be like, what? Where's that canyon hiding? But it's out there and it's beautiful. I can't wait to see it. All right, we are officially inside of the Grand Canyon National Park. We're riding our bikes to the first view. Da, 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 da. Oh God, yeah, wow. <laughs> Whoa, mama. <laughs> All right, here we go. You ready for the reveal? Oh, oh yes. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's as good as I remember it. Mira's getting her gl glamour shots. <laughs> oh, give her a chin scratch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, look yeah. At Someone's that. very sleepy and tired. But maybe there's the Grand Canyon. You sure you don't want to check it out? <laughs> oh. Turn around, Mira, look. Sleepy, sleepy dog.
There aren't a whole lot of words that I can say to all of you that describes my feelings for this. <laughs> this is just, I mean, it just fills my heart with joy to see this. This is only the third time in my life I've been here. And it is just, it's mind blowing to think that one little river, the Colorado River, car carved out that giant expanse. And it just goes to show Little by little, you work on something and you can create a Grand Canyon. You might need a few hundred million years to do it, but there you go. The end product is spectacular. And I feel, I just feel connected to the environment here. I feel whole, I feel happy, I feel grateful. Um, and to see all these other tourists around here checking it out, everybody's having the same experience. Oh my God, you know. We live in a world of technology and movies and big screen TVs and fast cars and yeah, that's exciting, but this right here, this is the most exciting thing I've ever seen in my life. Nature <laughs> in all of its grandeur. I mean, I love it. Yeah, I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm so glad that we rode 30 miles up here to check out this wonderful Grand Canyon. I feel, I feel so good, I feel so good here. Oh man, good job nature, good job nature. <laughs> Pretty special, it's uh, yeah, it, I mean, you gotta come and see it for yourself. Words really just can't capture it, but it is uh, a place you won't ever forget, even just glimpsing it for a short period of time like we did today. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. And we're heading off to find a good camping spot since it is winter a lot of these Grand Canyon camping locations are not open so we're actually going to ride out of Grand, Cash Grand Canyon National Park and uh, onto BLM land and find a place to camp. <laughs> this is so cool! We're sneaking peeks off to our right of the canyon as we're riding this road it's a little bit downhill it's nice and warm it's a beautiful sunny day <laughs> life is life is good man you know i've seen a lot of beautiful things on my bike tours of course but the grand canyon is at the top of the list it doesn't get much better than that did it. Another day out here in Arizona. We are now camping uh, on National Forest Land. We're outside of Grand Canyon National Park. Nice flat area, although it might get very cold. We're at about 7,500 feet of elevation above sea level. And uh, we've had freezing cold mornings at like 4,500 feet above sea level on this trip. So it could be very nippy. You might hear me whining tomorrow, but right now I am psyched. The sun is setting through those trees. We've got John and Mira. Where are you? There they are over there somewhere playing, throwing sticks. And yeah, it was just a great day. I know you already have a stick in your mouth, but I picked out a really good one for you. You ready? You're gonna have to make a choice. Go! <laughs> good job. You gonna bring them both back? You gonna bring them both back to me? Look at that. That's some skill. Got them both. Now I know you're not going to give it to me, are you? <laughs> what we've got here, ladies and gentlemen, is the red healer in her element, waiting for the stick to be thrown. Nothing will phase her. She's got laser focus. She will sit here like this until some ding-dong throws her a stick. So John and I are just standing here talking, debriefing like we 
normally do at the end of a day. And that's the cool part about this. We have this shared experience and we go over everything that happened throughout the day. And I was just asking him about the rest of his trip and I want him to share it with you. It's pretty fascinating. John, what the heck are you about to do? Well, I'm already doing it. Um, basically in simple terms, I'm riding around the world. The plan is to ride to all seven continents. Um, maybe not in any specific order. So we've, we're typically, we're in North America right now. Um, left Canada, went to the border and there's all that sort of stuff. And, and now I'm most of the way through uh, the United States heading into Mexico. And then there's Central America to go through. So that's a lot of great cultures and different stuff. That'll be North America, then into South America. And then so many more, of course, uh, you know, Africa and Europe and, and uh, Australia, Oceania. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a, a wild time. Lots of cultures, lots of f political things, food, people, uh, terrain. Yeah, I'm, we're, we're very excited. It seems now like a massive undertaking, and it is, but we're taking it bit by bit. And we're just, you know, like today we were at the Grand Canyon. You know, these are the kind of experiences that we'll have along the way. So it's, it's um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been dreaming about this? Quite a while. I think, you know, these things, they start off with a little kernel and then they, they get roots and they get in you and they kind of grow and grow and grow. Last year, um, I guess in 2019, I left in, in about a similar time period from now, rode from uh, my door. I was living in Calgary at the time, down to the States on, on a very similar route and uh, down the Baja where uh, we met actually. January 2020. <laughs> yeah. Continued down to the tip of Baja. I had some work on a, on a movie project in Africa. So I had flown from Mexico to Tanzania, Kilimanjaro, and then back, this time on the mainland, and continued on to as far south as Guanajuato. And at that point, COVID was in full bloom around the world. There was quarantines and lockdowns and all this kind of stuff. It seemed prudent to start to return home. And so I then rode back to the US and back up um, a new routes and de development, orogenesis, up to uh, Hood River in uh, northern o Oregon. Then, of course, we did, famously, the uh, Great Divide route. I went down as far as um, Steamboat Springs in Colorado, and then finally rode back to Canada, uh, crossing the border in September, and then uh, worked for quite a while. Um, you know, I work, uh, shift work, a, a contract type position. And so I can do that work. And then, and so now here we are, we have an understanding of COVID things are opening up and loosening and I'm trying again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Well, we're cheering you on. A lot of people Thanks. are cheering you on. They love yeah, it. That's great. Yeah. They should. love you and they love you. Yes, they do. No, man, this has been so much fun so far, man. I'm really grateful that we're doing this together. Yeah, no, I'm really glad that you could come and join part of what will be like the world tour, the dog backing world tour. And it's awesome that your, you know, your subscribers and followers and our followers can, you know, they can, they can join in in this journey. They can follow along and see what's going on. And, and if they live in these areas, say hello. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll come and visit. If you're on our route, we'll come and visit. So, you know, that's, that's great. Or if you want to come out and just say hi or just encourage us, we appreciate it all. Yeah, absolutely. And the sun is down. It is getting cold very quickly. Yeah, the moon is out. <laughs> well, the moon is out. We're probably going to retreat to our tents and call it. But uh, thanks, for, thanks for another great day, my man. Thank yeah. you. Love it. Now we're on single track on the AZT. Yeah, buddy. How you doing, John? Doing well. There he is. How you doing, Mira? Everybody psyched.